That's still uh, the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa, and it's World Teachers Day, so uh, from us right here, we say happy World Teachers Day to every teacher, and that includes parents and every other person everywhere, really. But a bit of this, we have fantastic guests who would join the conversation this morning to make sense of the day and the educational system in Nigeria. But you need to understand that it's an annual event and every year World Teachers Day is celebrated globally in the month of October to honor and pay tribute to all teachers. The day is recognized to highlight the great role played by teachers and mentors in the lives of students. The theme for World Teachers Day, that's 2022, is the transformation of education begins with teachers. The celebration of World Teachers Day uh, 2022 will be focused on the commitment and calls for action that were recently discussed in Transforming Education Summit, uh, that's for 2022, that was held in September. Now, according to UNESCO, World Teachers Day is a day to celebrate how teachers are transforming education but also to reflect on the support they need to fully deploy and uh, I mean deploy their talent and vocation and to rethink the way ahead for uh, the profession globally. We have Ola Odunayor, David, who joins us this morning. He's a teacher. Uh, Odunayor, it's good to have you join us. Thank you. We we'll also have a professor who joins the conversation, Professor Abiola Awoshika. Uh, he, she is an educationist. Uh, she joins the conversation. Thank you, Professor, for joining. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'll start with you, right. Uh, what are your thoughts on this day? What do you think is the significance? And do we have any reason as a country, Nigeria, to celebrate this day? Absolutely. We always have a reason to celebrate our teachers. Because whether you believe it or not, they make all of us professionals, uh, whether you're in engineering, you're in physics, you're in um, aeronautics, it takes a teacher to get you there. So we have to celebrate them. Um, it's a pity that Nigerians, uh, most of them don't appreciate what our teachers do, but many people actually appreciate them. And we have to respect them. We have to honor them. We have to uh, show that we know that they're making a difference in our children's lives. Um, the United Nations has, uh, you know, this year at its UN General Assembly had a high level activities um, called uh, around education called the Transforming Education Summit. Quite, quite interesting. Uh, with the focus on different aspects of uh, education, including uh, they had a, a thematic action uh, tracks. One of the thematic action tracks, that's action track three, has to do with um, uh, teachers teaching and the, the teaching profession. They're saying that, for instance, uh, 69 million teachers are needed to achieve universal basic education by the year 2030. From your, your, your experience, Professor Prof, do, you, uh, do we have enough teachers in the country, in Nigeria today as we speak? No, no, no. And that is because we have, uh, for decades, rele relegated the teaching profession to nothingness. Uh, take uh, NUC. Uh, when, no, the Ministry of Education, when there's, they, they want to uh, do the cutoff point, they give like 100 points for teaching, teaching institutions. So if you want to be a teacher, all you have to score is 100 points in JAM. But if you want to be a doctor or you want to be an accountant, it's 200 you know, points. That is reversed because we need our best to be the teachers in this country. That is what Finland did to turn their education system around. They gave their very best to their teachers and you know, they began to make changes and they turned their educational system to the best in the world. And that is what we need to do. So we don't have enough uh, all across Africa, 
we do not have enough teachers. I mean, David, uh, I'm sure you're still with us. Yes, yes, I'm with you. Uh, so on this day that the world is celebrating uh, Teachers' Day, would you like to share your experience with us as a teacher in Nigeria? Yeah. Yeah, being a teacher is a very great thing, the great opportunity I have, because I've always been, I've always wanted to be a teacher. And I've always wanted to impact um, um, good education into the life of the students. And have been doing that, and I'm happy doing it. And I believe that I'm, I'm bringing um, changes into the life of um, the, the students. Yeah. So, I mean, what has it been like being a teacher in Nigeria? I mean, discuss it. Your challenges, you know, your pluses, if there's any. Yeah, there are, there are many challenges in, in Nigeria concerning um, the teachers. Like, um, teachers are meant to be respected, are meant to be treated well. But I noticed that in Nigeria, the treatment given to teachers are not, are not well. It's nothing to write home about. But despite this, teachers are still what? They are still striving to do their best, to do their best to, 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 to deliver their work in the best way. And um, concerning um, teachers, there is no enough teachers in Nigeria. There is no enough teachers. With um, the schools, especially the government schools, they need more teachers. I think their, their statistics is not encouraging. Yeah, in, there will be, like in some schools, there will, there will not be some um, subject teachers. Whereby, I've been to a school where they, they don't have mathematics teacher at all. They've not been doing mathematics. So how will the students graduate well? How will they perform very well in their, in their work, in their studies? So teachers are really needed. The, uh, the government really needs to work, to work on their statistics. To, to, to know the number of teachers present in each school so that they can make provisions for teachers. And when students have the best teacher, they will, they will, they will, they will acquire the best knowledge. Yeah, that was my intake on this. Interesting that you, you're sharing your, your experience with us um, uh, as a teacher and the challenges you're having. Uh, um, what do you say to so one of the points raised by, you've talked about uh, the fact that teachers are not as uh, um, in, enough. You need more teachers. For, your, for you, how many students do you have in your classroom? Yeah, in my classroom, per class in my school, we have 30, 35, 30, 35 downward. Okay, 35 uh, uh, students. Um, um, do you think, you think that this, this is, a, is a, a, an okay number? I think it should be reduced? Yeah, the number is, is okay for a government school. For a government it's school. okay for a government All right. Yes. Uh, uh, one, one, one of the, the, the points raised by Prof is uh, investment in education. And we look at the th thematic track three of the United Nations Invest in, uh, Transform Education Summit. They, they talked about investing in our future and that if you invest in teachers, it's investing in the future. You can't invest in teachers that are investing in schools. Uh, what are some of the areas in your school, as a case study, um, you think um, uh, need investment, at least to make it better for the teachers to do their work? For, do you have your, your gadgets? Do you have uh, access to the internet? Do you have um, you know, access to research facilities? Are you paid well? I want you to talk about these challenges, my, my brother. Don't be diplomatic. Tell us what you are facing. <laughs> Messi has tried to get, to get in through the door, so I'll get in through the roof. <laughs> What are, the, are you paid well? And, and talk yeah. about challenges. Yeah, concerning, concerning that, I, w I would say that the Lagos government, they are trying. They are trying concerning the payment, they are trying. But, but due to the hike in prices of them. Um, Bro, what, 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 what do you mean they are trying? Are you government spokesman? I'm not asking you how well are they doing. <laughs> are you paid well? Number one, do you have the facilities you need as a teacher to perform? You're not the commissioner for education. So don't tell me they're trying. Right. That's what the people say. What right. is your experience, <laughs> sir? Sir. Okay. We don't really have the facilities. We don't have. We don't have the facilities to be the best teacher. Like, 
we are supposed to be to be receiving um, um, internet facilities like um, 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 gigs, maybe 10 gigs per month, so that we can solve the internet to get the best um, um, materials needed to teach the students. But we don't have all these things. We don't have all these things. Even in, in the schools, in the schools, we don't have um, um, gadgets like lack of computers, lack of um, internet facilities. We don't have them. And these things, they are meant to be in, in schools because all the students, most of the students, they are computer illiterate. They don't know how to operate computer system. And we are doing computer in the school. We are, we are teaching computer um, studies in the school. And we don't have computer system. We don't have anything that we can use to teach the computer. So the government really needs to, uh, to supply um, um, gadgets to, to government schools. Because I can't really talk for private school because they, they own their school and they do the needs. Mm. So for government school, they need to provide all this. So uh, are, 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 are you are you pay are you paid well? Are you happy? With, would you say? Would you say you're paid well? Yeah, I would say I'm paid well. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, you no, seem to okay. be, but Prof, um, before Messi comes back in, uh, you talked about, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the number of teachers. Uh, you talked about the bar, uh, that's the bar, the benchmark as far as the qualification, you know, for, for our teach teachers in the university in, in JAM, for instance, are concerned. Now, I have a recent experience with a, an administrator of a, a primary, nursery and primary school who was recruit, who was recruiting uh, teachers. Um, my parents were both teachers of blessed memory. Uh, they both went, especially my dad, to a proper teacher training institution, a proper teacher training institution. And my dad was so uh, qualified to the extent his friends were professors like yourself. But he was okay being a teacher, and he didn't want to be a professor or anything, teach university. He was okay. Now, what I see these days is that most of the schools are going in for graduates, people who have no certificate or qualification in education. So they're not going in for the NCE holders. They're not going in for those who studied education in university. They're going in for graduates in different fields who have probably... Uh, is Prof with us, please? I think we lost Prof. Oh, my. Do we still have Prof? Okay, so I've noticed that they're going in for those who have maybe a 2-1, at least second class upper or first class students in different fields, who are necessarily trained to teach. Um, well, why would you say that is the case? Prof, are you there? Okay, it seems we do not have Prof uh, with us. My brother, uh, so, uh, what, what, what are your thoughts on this? Um, uh, do you have a background in education? And uh, do you find that maybe the schools are, are looking for people who are qualified as per, as opposed to those who maybe have a background in education academically? Yes, I have a background um, in education. Okay, okay. And the schools are looking for those that have a background in education. Yes, it, it, even, for yeah. those that, even for those that doesn't have the background in education, they are advised through um, courses in education, like PGT, um, other professional courses pertaining to education. What, what, what can be done, in your opinion, to improve the, 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 the welfare of teachers and to make it, make it easier and enjoyable and better for them to do their work? Yeah. Uh, what can be done is that um, the, um, the teachers should, should, they should pay attention, they should pay more attention to, to teachers in such a way that there will, there will be like, allowances, like um, browsing allowances, feeding allowances, apart from the salary, so that the, the teacher will be very, very comfortable to teach and stress-free. Mm -hmm. So if they can do that, if they can do that, the teacher will be comfortable, they will be happy to do their works um, diligently. All right. So, all right. Well, well, there's, there's a funny one here, bizarre one. Um, do you feel safe as a teacher? Is there any, at any point in time, you feel threatened by your students? Maybe they say they're going to beat you up or something. Maybe those who are involved no. in, in cultism. In cultism. No, no. You we know? don't have such in my... In my well, yeah, I'm always friendly to my students. And my, and my students love me. They but love ha have me. you heard of anything like that in any of the other schools that students involved in cultism are threatening teachers? Yes, I've, I've heard of I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Yeah, because um, in some schools, um, students are involved in 
in courtesy, like bringing um, knives to school, stabbing themselves, shooting themselves. I've heard of that. All right, all right. Well, we have to go now. Thank you so much, Ola uh, Odunayo, David, for being part of us this morning. Mm -hmm. And happy Teachers Day to you. you. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, that's good. We, we, we unfortunately, weren't able to connect with Professor Abiola Awoshika. Uh, we, we're hoping that we, we have... We need to have her again. <laughs> again, again, right. Again. The network was not very Yeah, we need to have her again. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> you know. Mercy, there was, a, there was a story very quickly in Port Harcourt. You know, Port Harcourt is, is, is a beautiful city. A picture of a, a soldier flogging certain students in the schools, Kalapara Secondary School. So all of us, when people went berserk on radio, why will a teacher, will a soldier go into school and flog certain students? And then we got to find out there are other schools around, even like a federal government college near the military barracks called Boricam. They also use soldiers. They invite them to come and discipline the students. No, so, 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 so some teachers started calling into the radio program saying, hey, that see, they can't handle the students. They, are, they feel endangered. And I could not understand. I said, why would we allow you know, secondary school students to intimidate you? They said that these guys are to call this and stuff. And teachers kept convincing me that if I were in their shoes, I would fear for my life. Well, so I, I think that that's on the one hand, but you also have schools where you have uh, the military, like military school schools, right? One of them I attended, and uh, those who disciplined us were not the teacher. School. Yes, I was in a military school, and those who actually would, you know, punish us were the years. military officers. Now, if you're very conversant with the military school, mm. you know that they call them the ROPs. My, my. The ROPs are those who actually punish you for offense, and the offense were not. Uh, I mean, so if you actually uh, fault anything i mean if you come late to school uh, you have to work on your knees on the quota mm. uh, they were really you know very hard and harsh military training so right so there. so well, the point i was making <laughs> teachers are also in danger that's another thing we need to look at yeah well, they're, well, they're afraid it, it that some students who send the messages out if we would deal with you so that, that, will, that's will, why we're thinking that we, we had professor and we'll definitely have this conversation <laughs> it, it, some it's, other it's, time it's, 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 Interesting time we live in. Anyway, please follow us on all our platforms on social media at Plus TV Africa, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And also, you can find us on our second YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. We'll be back tomorrow. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Bopo. We'll join the newsroom for the news brief at 9 o'clock. Please stay with us.